Every once in a while, I find that I need some new way to add more details to my work. And happily, sometime I found one. Welcome everybody, my name is Eric. I'm the author and illustrator of Alastar, a manga-inspired comic book. So, today I'll show you how I made this braid. As you can see, we can even move them because they are made with vector. There was many braids to do on this painting, so I tried to use the ribbon brush and it worked quite well. Okay, I pick my brush. Mm. You can, we can draw a new braid really, really quickly uh, with this brush. We can also get some nice effect with the pen pressure. So let's add a dozen of braids really quickly, just to see. I used the same tool for other details too. To make your own braids brush, you will need to draw a short one, something like this. You may use picture reference to get it as best as possible. It needs to be seamless, so you can take a look at my video about seamless texture with Manga Studio 5. Once it's ready, you click on edit and register image as material. Don't forget to check use for brush tip shape. Give it a name. Choose a location and add the search tag. Okay, now you duplicate an existing uh, ribbon brush, give it a new name, mm. and just change the tip for the one we just made. So, ta-da, it's ready to, to draw and paint. You can change uh, some setting to get the effect you want, like, uh, like that. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have some questions or if you have some uh, ID for new tools. Make sure you guys like this video because it's helped us a lot and it's really appreciated. Thanks for watching.